Hey guys, it's Maddie from Let's Eat Plants, and today we're going to try making falafel from scratch. So I have made bean patties, I have made falafel from a box mix before, but I have never tried making my own traditional style falafel. And by that I mean ones where you soak your chickpeas first and then form them into your batter, or I guess your dough balls, whatever you wanna call them. So that's what we're going to try making today. I have my chickpeas that have already been soaking overnight. Very important to note, I thought that you needed to soak them for 12 hours, but it's actually for 24 hours. So usually I just soak beans for like 12 hours, but for this recipe, you will need to soak them for 24. So make sure that you have enough time to do that before you wanna make your falafel recipe. So yes, we do not need any canned chickpeas. We do not need any cooked chickpeas. We just need chickpeas in their dried form soaked in water for 24 hours. And then, of course, you're going to need some spices and some herbs. So right now I have some parsley, as well as some coriander. The recipe that I'm following even says you can add some dill if you have it. Oh, which by the way, today's recipe is from themediterraneandish.com and I will of course link the original recipe in the description box down below. But basically this recipe looks pretty straightforward. I would love to be deep frying these, but of course we are going for the healthier route and we are going to bake them instead of frying them. So with that, let's get started on these falafel. It's very crumbly, but it does look like it will be able to come together into balls pretty easily. Now we do also need to refrigerate this for at least one hour. It says you can even do it overnight if you wanted to prepare this in advance. And now I just read in the recipe that actually I was not supposed to add the baking powder or the sesame seeds to this mixture. You're supposed to add them right before you fry or bake them. Hopefully, since I'm only refrigerating this for an hour, that won't really matter. Um, we shall see. <laughs> so I do believe this is ready. It says not to over pulse it. So I think this crumbly texture should be fine. So let's go ahead and transfer this to the fridge. Okay, so now it has been over an hour. It's been like almost two hours. And I guess we just form these into balls and then I'm gonna bake them at 350 per the recipe directions. Hopefully this sticks together enough to make into balls. It's still looking exactly the same, still crumbly, but we won't know until we try, so let's try. Okay, that was a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. Uh, apparently, if the mixture is too wet, they do not form the patties very well, or the balls. 
and also I think that would be the same if it's too dry. So at first I thought mine were okay because the mixture seemed wet enough to bind it, but then it seemed a little bit too wet. So I just Googled it really quickly and I read that you can add a little bit of chickpea flour or oat flour if you have it, or breadcrumbs or something like that to kind of help soak up some of that extra moisture. I didn't really need to add any to mine, but <laughs> as you guys saw, some of them were a little bit falling apart. But I got most of them into ball shapes, and I actually thought that it was easier to use my hands to do it. I started out using the spoon, and I feel like they weren't firm enough. These ones actually might fall apart in the oven, I'm not sure. But it seemed to help to really work them and like mash them together with your hands. That seemed to get the ball shape and the firmness a little bit better. Just that tip for you. And now we're gonna pop these in the oven. Our cute little falafels are ready and they stayed together. I did have a little trouble flipping them at first, but then I just realized you need to maybe use a spatula if they're stuck to your pan at all. And pff, hey, we got little falafel balls. They're so cute. I'm so excited to try one right now. The flavor I feel is pretty much perfect. And the only thing is that they're a little bit dry, I think because I baked them instead of deep frying them. Of course, they would taste a lot better if they were deep fried in oil. So if you're not avoiding oil, definitely try these deep fried for a treat. But I mean, baked, they're still really good. Of course, you're not gonna be eating it by itself like this anyway. You would probably put it with some hummus or tzatziki or something like that. So this is actually really good. The flavor is like, ooh, yes. I'm actually really impressed how easy these were as well. As long as you remember to soak your chickpeas for at least 24 hours in advance and make sure you plan at least one hour of refrigeration time, then everything else is just putting it in the blender and then forming the little balls. So it's actually really easy. I always used to be really intimidated by homemade falafel, but this was much easier than I thought it would be. So I think that these would be really nice on a beautiful salad or in a wrap. Or if you guys have any other ideas on how to serve them, let me know in a comment down below. And of course, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a like. And with that, let's eat plants, and I will see you guys next time.